Hey guys, this is going to be just a short update on the API Builder and the stuff that I've uh, added recently since my last video. So, as you can see, we have this part here right now. And let's just uh, get quickly into it and uh, see what it does. Uh, obviously, the first part, the table part, right? It just shows you the preview of the table that you have uh, the data in your database. So that's that. Uh, the second one is then the result, basically the result of the execution of your functions, the uh, you know the business logic that you're going to define here. So the stuff that I've added, for example, you can minimize this here, right? And uh, of course, you can bring it back. You can do the same thing with the result. Uh, let's just show some data, see how it works. Okay, let's quickly. Just do this and okay, something very simple. Yeah, and you can see the result here. And now it's much easier. Yeah, finally it looks, you know, uh, presentable. So the API builder finally looks uh, like something that you would actually want to use. And uh, that's not all. Uh, if you go here, you can actually view the table in full screen mode, right? So you have everything right here. The same goes uh, for the result as well. So now it's uh, much easier to look at. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, there's also a new feature to skip the execution of the functions. Uh, I actually need to change the color of this and it's actually going to be switched off by default, but let's uh, just demonstrate this right now. So this is how it's going to look like. Let's say that you have like a few of these, right? And you want to skip the execution of a certain block. Okay, let's just go for example, set variable. So this is going to be here okay let's just query for movies here right and we can add this here for now we'll just skip this one execute and there you go so you've got these two and you can just oh let's filter here So this is going to be a new variable my movie that's just going to be filtered out and let's just say filter which one do we want one movie that has sk equal to one let's just quickly demonstrate that okay let's see yeah there you go here it is but what if we were to skip this then the variable is not here. Let's also skip this one. Then this one's not here either. And what you can also do, let's say we put them back. Now it's uh, obviously not working because the movies variable is not here. Obviously we have to do it like this and run again. Now it's working fine, but uh, at some point you're going to have maybe probably like uh, five, six, even up to, you know, maybe 10 of these uh, functions. So they're going to be in your way. What you can do is, you know, minimize functions as well, but you can still execute them, right? So this is fine. Uh, let me just show you one more thing that's actually quite uh, interesting is how you can filter things. Uh, it's not just, you know, based on equality. It's also, you can also uh, filter based on, you know, how the string starts. For example, let's say we want uh, only the movies. For example, if, if, if we know that we have a movie here, you, you can see Spider-Man. But we want, you know, any Spider-Man movie. So something that spy starts with the word spider. And that's very easy to accomplish. You just say title starts with, and then you say 
spider, right? So if, if we execute this, there you go. It says Spider-Man right here. And, but the thing is that most people don't really know about uh, the namings of these uh, functions. So what I'll have to add is just like an icon here that's going to be a list of all the possible functions. You click here, you get the list, you then click on these, uh, these uh, functions and they'll be you know, added here by default. So that's something that's going to be you know, quite uh, useful. Uh, what are the things that I still need to add? Okay, uh, let's switch quickly to our Discord channel. As you can see here, I've been uh, updating people on the users, you know, on uh, what I've been doing recently. And we've just had a uh, lot of back and forth. So if you want, please just join. Join the Discord and uh, let me know what you want to see next. So currently, what do I have to add? Okay, autosave. Yeah, so basically, if you're adding these functions, right, at some point, all these functions are going to be saved into your repository, into your application, and, uh, you know, you will be able to execute them with your API. But before that's done, you know, when you close the browser, this goes away. And if it's not saved, then uh, you won't uh, find it here next time you open the browser. So some kind of autosave feature that's going to save this setup right here. And you'll be able to just load uh, the last, you know, last maybe couple of uh, uh, setups that you had. So that's something that I have to add. What else? Filtering. Oh, obviously the filtering, yeah, right? So this here, let's uh, minimize this. The table, right? So there, there, there needs to be some kind of uh, filtering here so that you can uh, see the data that you want to see. Uh, not just everything, right, for the preview. So that's something that, I, that I'm going to add. Make full screen table. This one is uh, something that I've already done. Show result in full screen. Obviously, this is already done. Okay, and once that's done, here's uh, what I need to do. Define partition and sort keys. So basically, when you're building your API, you're going to define which of the keys are going to be like your main keys, the partition and the sort key. So... Usually that's going to be these two, the PK and the SK, but you will have the ability to, to, you know, define the names, or if you just want to have the partition key without the sort key, that's also be a possibility. Uh, the next thing is define indexes for querying, right? So as you can clearly see here, we can only query by type right now, only one column type. So what I need to do is add the feature where you can define your index, right? Basically say which column you want to query by. So that's something I need to add as well. It's not going to be easy, but I'm going to do that one as well. And then comes the hardest part and make sure that everything gets saved into your Git repo. So once that's done, that means that uh, everything that you've done here, your whole, you know, business logic, all of the functions, all this setup is going to be stored in your Git repository of your uh, API. And only then can we start working on actually executing this business logic through your API. And then you can use it in your, uh, you know, applications, either some, you know, Next.js app, or maybe Bubble or Webflow app, which is, uh, you know, something that I'm going to do, you know, create some uh, plugins for. And uh, the Next.js app that you can already launch through CodeSmash is going to have a direct integration, you know, with this API builder. So that's going to be quite easy to use. Uh, yeah, so now, like I said, uh, this is uh, moving uh, really, really quickly. So it's going to be done quite soon, I think. And uh, you can already test this out. And if you want, like I said, just join the Discord. Let me know what you think. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe. Because recently, if you see here, uh, up until recently, I had 150 something subscribers. And in the last like month, it just 
went up by, by, by 24. Now I got 178. So I'm really happy about that. Thanks a lot for uh, subscribing. The people have uh, really started looking into what I'm doing. So this is, uh, this is awesome. And if you, if you want to try this out, hopefully, you know, just, uh, if you also want to help me out, just go to the, you know, codesmash.studio and uh, the pricing page and just make sure you get a plan to code smash. This is going to be a one-time payment, right? So just get either the personal plan, the business plan or the enterprise plan, and you will have a lifetime access to, uh, code smash. If you want to see the API builder, you know, done as soon as possible, feel free to get a plan and, uh, yeah, check it out for yourselves. You can, uh, you can run it, uh, as many times as you want, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. There are, there will be no limitations. You will be able to deploy unlimited uh, APIs and uh, use uh, unlimited number of executions, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. Same same thing goes for the database storage. It's also unlimited. So, like I said, it's just a one-time payment, and you'll be able to use uh, Code Smash. Uh, as much as you want and uh, you know you'll be helping me out to, to build this thing and to deliver it uh, as soon as possible and like i said this is a short video just to show you that this finally looks like something that uh, you would want to use and uh, i will be talking to you guys uh, next time i'll have more to show you Maybe, maybe in like next week, so you can expect the next uh, video then. Until then, uh, like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.